Hi, in this video uh, I wanted to quickly talk to you about assignment schedules. So if you have your assignment schedule downloaded, awesome, use it as a reference as we talk. If you don't have it downloaded, uh, that's not a problem. I'm going to walk you through where to find it and, and we'll talk about um, how it's used in the class. Okay. So the first question is, where do you find your assignment schedule? So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at the classroom and I'm going to show you exactly how to navigate to your assignment schedule. Please be aware that um, the classroom room might look a little different because my view and your do view are slightly different, but you'll be able to follow the same path I do to get to the assignment schedule. Okay, okay so we'll start here from the landing page of the classroom. Okay, and so there's a couple of ways we can get it. We can come down here, scroll down below this announcement, our uh, classroom announcement, and then there's a folder here that says assignment schedules, and we can just go right inside of it. Okay, so that's one way we can get them. Here at the top is a uh, informational page that just tells you like what I expect you to be doing each time you're in class, and then below it are your assignment schedules. Now. Like, remember I told you, my view is a little bit different than yours. My view has everybody's assignment schedule. Yours will only have your assignment schedule. So um, I've created groups in the classroom, and the groups are dependent on what school you go to. So each group is then assigned an assignment schedule. So you should only see one assignment schedule. And if you don't see an assignment schedule, it means you haven't been assigned to a group. So message me right away, okay? So that's one way of getting it, you know, right from the right from the main materials page. You just scroll down beneath the announcement below the uh, classroom page, or sorry, the classroom folder, and it's right there inside the assignment schedule. Another way to access it is over here on the materials page. If you click this down arrow right there, assignment schedules folder brings you back to the same thing. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an assignment schedule and we're going to talk a little bit about um, what's in there, okay? Okay, so if you haven't downloaded your announcement or your assignment schedule, please follow one of those paths that I just showed you um, to access your assignment schedule. It's a good idea for you to have yours open as I have the one open on screen and you can go through the pieces of it with me, okay? So let's take a look at an assignment schedule now. Okay, so we're taking a look at an assignment schedule and I will tell you this one is the Dodea Cuba Puerto Rico uh, quarter one schedule. Um, shapes dates are a little different, Lejeune's dates are a little different, okay? So we're not, don't worry too much about the dates. Your dates will be specific on your assignment schedule. Um, I just really kind of want to go over what one of these looks like. Okay, I'll give you one for quarter one and one for quarter two. So this one here is for quarter one. You'll get the quarter two one probably about two weeks prior to quarter two starting. Okay, so just a couple things to notice here. We've got uh, five columns, right? The first column is the week. And generally there's nine weeks in a quarter. And then it's going to tell you the dates that uh, are associated with that week. Okay. Then in the next column, you'll find out whatever unit you're working on. Um, I generally like to, or your module, sorry, that's the wrong terminology. I don't know, I have unit name up there. Your module, uh, your the module number and the module name, okay? And also, it will also include the lesson name, okay? So like, let's, let's look down here at, oops at week two, okay? So week two, you actually go through quite a bit of stuff. You go through the entire module one, okay? So you see that module one is called Introducing Java, and you've got three different sections. You got section A, which is the computer science background information section. You got section B, Introduction to Java, and section C, Getting Started with Java, okay? So uh, I'll generally list the name of the module and then list the name of the sections that you're going to be working on with it that week. Uh, this middle column here is basically the things that you have to do that are not graded, okay? They're the things that you need to read and the things that you need to watch, okay? And if we get into an exam or something like that, it's the things you need to study, okay? So that's in this here, this middle column, okay? Uh, the fourth column over here, they're the tasks that you need to be, that need to be completed within the week. These little check boxes here, they're just for your own, you know, your own uh, use. If you want to print them out and you check them off as you go along, 
that's why I put the little boxes there. Okay. So one thing to note, I give you the dates for the entire week, right? You notice here, I don't tell you Monday you have to do this, Wednesday you have to do this, Friday you have to do this. Okay. So what that means is these are the, in like in this week too, these are the three assignments you have to complete within that week. So I'm leaving it up to you as to what days you're going to do it. Do you, do you prefer to you know, do all of the reading for all of the sections that you're covering um, and then do the assignments? Do you do a, a, the section and then the assignment? You know, how do you work that? Um, if you're absent one day, how do you make up for the others? These are all things that you need to work out within the course of the week, right? That's why I don't specify each day that you need to do stuff, okay? All I can tell you is it's, you know, you have this week to complete it, right? That's that's the way I do things. I don't specify the date that things are, um, the specific dates you should be working on something. Instead, I say these are the things that should be worked on over the course of the week, okay? One other thing to note right here before I go into how I use this. So you'll notice, so I break them up by week, right? So you got week one, week two, week three. And what you'll notice is I try to use these different colors, right? So this whole row here uh, for week one was white. This whole row here for week two is the lighter blue. And it's I, I'm just trying to set them off so that you can see what stuff is due for one week and what is due for another week. Okay, so um, we're going to take a minute here. So kind of digest what we've got going on there. I know it's not very hard. I tried to break it up pretty, you know, break it down pretty clearly. But I'm going to explain to you in just a moment how we, um, how I use these as my guide to how to, uh, to grade you in the classroom. Okay, so an important part of the classroom is always like, how am I going to be graded? When is this due? When is it going to be, you know, posted to grade speed? These are all really important questions. And so uh, I use the assignment schedule to guide, uh, not how I grade you, right? I use rubrics to, de to determine how your grade is, you know, how it's determined in the classroom. But like, how am I going to, you know, mark things as missing in grade speed? Or when am I going to put the assignments uh, you know, your grades into grade speed. When am I going to send progress reports? All of that stuff. I use the assignment schedule to determine that. So let's go back to the assignment schedule and I'm going to tell you how I use it. Okay. Okay. So you've seen this before and we're going to take a look at week two. We've already kind of covered week two. So in week two, I said, you know, um, September 3rd through 6th, week two work has to be done. The 6th is a Friday. So I give you this assignment schedule, it says the assignments are due on Friday, okay? Monday through Friday is when this course of work is due. We're actually for this week, for Dodea kids, um, it's Tuesday through Friday because they don't have school on Monday for the Labor Day holiday. Okay, so that's that's how this works. It says, you know, that week and it, the week ends on Friday. Um, some days that date might be different if like, let's say the quarter's ending and it ends on a Thursday or something, uh, but generally it ends that Friday. Okay. So let's say I'm, you're turning stuff in, you know, that whole week, the whole week. I'm grading them as they come, right? And I'll put them, I'll, you know, grade them in Schoology and then I'll post them to grade speed and I'll do this throughout the week as they're being submitted. Although I will tell you, I'm a little backed up in assignments right now just because the beginning of the semester is really kind of crazy. But then I'll get on top of things and, and stuff will move from Schoology to grade speed a lot quicker. So then let's say, uh, you know, we go Monday through Friday, the whole week is done and I'm just slowly, you know, grading, moving to grade speed, grading, moving to grade speed, grading, moving to grade speed. Well, what I do is I don't mark anything missing within that whole week, right? I already said it's it's on you to decide what days of the week you're going to do your work. So I'm not going to mark anything missing throughout that Monday through Friday time span. And I'm not going to mark anything missing over the weekend because generally I don't work over the weekend, okay? I will answer messages to me, but like I'm not going to grade anything over the weekend. I'm not going to post anything in grade speed, right? So I'm not really doing anything in grade speed over the weekend or with grades 
Unless you have to, unless you're like, Miss Boylan, I really need this thing graded, please do it. The rest of the time, I'm not going to be in there, okay? So Monday, I'm grading stuff too, but I'm still not marking messings, okay? Just so that you're aware. Tuesday, Tuesday, I'm going to send progress reports. Tuesday is a big day because I need to make sure your grades is the most accurate it can be because your school generally does like um, a grades check for extracurricular activities. So I make sure that your grades are up to date on Tuesday and I send progress reports that same day. So on Tuesday, Tuesday is the day that I'm going to submit missings. So I would look, let's say it's Tuesday the, let's see, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. I think it would be Tuesday the 10th. So it's Tuesday the 10th and I'm going to send out progress reports. I would come in here to this assignment schedule and I'd say, okay, these three assignments were due. Then I would go through what you've submitted. And if you've submitted everything, your grade is going to be updated, you know, with the grades that you earned score, you're good. Now, if on Tuesday, this Tuesday, the 10th, I look and you're missing something, then I'm going to put that missing in grade speed. Okay. And that missing is going to calculate as a zero and it's going to bring your grade down. Okay, so basically I create this assignment schedule. I tell you what you need to do Monday through Friday. You got a little bit of a leeway here, okay? You've got the weekend and you've even got Monday. But come Tuesday, any assignment that is not submitted that was due the week prior is gonna be marked as missing, okay? So that's a that's an important thing to work. That's how I that's how I run. I, I call it zeroing out the grade book because that's when I'll put zeros in. Okay. And that's when it's going to negatively affect your grade. So you want to make sure, you know, a lot of kids will be like, oh, I'm not going to be able to get this in until Sunday. No problems. You really kind of have until Tuesday anyway. So, you know, it's great you get them in by Friday. That's awesome. Who wants to do work over the weekend, right? But know that you do have a little bit of a leeway if needed. Okay, so that's it. It was longer than I wanted it to be, and I'm sorry. If you have any questions about the assignment schedule or anything else, please let me know. Big thing, download it, use it to guide you as you go through the class. If you use it to guide you as you go through the class, you're going to do great. Okay, so talk to you later. Have a good week.